Don't stress too much about your makeup. I know it's important, but it's more important that you're feeling good on stage, that you're, you know, you have the choreography down, you're in line. The audience can't really see if your eyeliner's slightly off, so don't worry about it too much. Saying that, don't worry about the technique so much that you forget the steps. So if you're thinking, oh, I need to fish my foot, yeah, you do need to fish your foot, but if that means that you're gonna be messing up the steps, then it's not worth it, because the audience doesn't really know how good your technique is anyway. It's more for, yeah. Don't warm up too much or too little. If you warm up too much, then you might just tire yourself out. If you warm up too little, then of course you can get injured. So try to find the middle ground for you. If you are new to a piece, be super aware of the entrances and exits. Do not relax at all until, well, never, but ideally you become confident and everything's like second nature and then you can relax a bit more. But for the first few shows, you need to be super vigilant. Your props are your responsibility, so don't go around like a headless chicken midway through the ballet because you need to find a dagger or something like that. Work it all out before you go on stage. Do not relax after you've done your hardest part of the show. Keep going until the curtain has closed, okay? So I know it's easy to mentally check out and just be like, oh, okay, I did the good pirouette in the first act and I don't have much to do for the rest of the, rest of the ballet. Um, yeah, no, stay switched on until that curtain closes and then you can be like, oh, okay, great, you know? Wear deodorant, super. Wear deodorant, I don't, yeah. Wear deodorant, um, chew gum or clean your teeth. Make sure that you don't have anything that you're self-conscious about when you're on stage. Uh, you you want to be nice to your partner as well. So yeah, just get all of that sorted. It's better to use 80% of your jump and get through the solo than to use 100% of your jump and then die like midway through your solo or a quarter ballet piece, whatever it is. Um, so just manage your en energy properly. Quick pirouettes are less risky than slow pirouettes. So if you're not feeling great about your turns, I would recommend doing like a triple quicker than going sl slowly, one, two, three, because you, you have more time to fall off. <laughs> when you do an arm to present something, say you're, you're doing core work and the prince comes on and everyone has to go da, 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 da. Don't keep doing the exact same movement with zero intention behind it. Like you have to actually think to yourself in your head, okay, I'm greeting this person and these hands are as if I were having a conversation, they're making sense in the same way, you know? Not just move my hands because the ballet masters told me to move my hands. Make it make sense and then for the audience it will make at least more sense and it'll be more enjoyable for everyone. <laughs>